right, hello, and welcome to True Fire's E-Clinic with Jeff Mackerling. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Um, I was here anyway. <laughs> As usual, we we tend to film these things uh, right when you have to like leave, catch a plane. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get started right, right away. Excellent. All right. First question is from Dave K. He asks, "What are the types of things you think one should do in order to make tremendous improvement as a guitarist?" Let's say I called you up on the phone and said, "I'd like to be a lot better at guitar a year from now. What should I work on to get there?" What would you say? If I were a real studious kind of teacher, I would say scales and all that kind of stuff. But I don't really believe that. I, I believe um, learning as many tunes as you possibly can. You know, just getting your repertoire built up in any kind of style. Say if you're a, you know, a, a pop fan, pop rock or whatever. You know, just learn to pick up the guitar and be able to have the confidence to sit down and play a tune. And, you know, even if it's like G, C, and D, it doesn't matter. Some people get kind of like, well, that song's just G, C, and D, but... Yes, but can you sit down and play it for me all the way through? And your average listener doesn't have any clue that it's just G, C, and D. So there's a real kind of uh, confidence-building thing of being able to just bang out some tunes, you know, at, at all levels. And I think that was one of the big things. I remember my mother, when I was playing, would say, you know, oh, play us a tune. And all I could play was, like, the riff to Crazy Train or something like that or pieces of the solo. And that's not really impressive to anybody, you know, so... You know, just being able to sit down and feel like classic rock, that's always great, like Beatles tunes and Stones tunes and just building up the repertoire. So like that, would, that would be my main thing. And then you can start to, you know, progress from there, but I think it's just... And th- let's say if you have that, you know, you can play a lot of tunes, it's, I would say, uh, then getting into working on your soloing and the scales and the modes and understanding the, the fundamentals of music. But I'd say to always try to make it as fun as possible. And tunes, 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 tunes. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's your answer, at least for me.